Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. Now, okay, we're going for one of the first what I call difficult mods, and that's Umbra. It's a pretty brutal boss fight in this one, and particularly difficult at level one, which uh, Leah is. However, I hope I prepared myself for this. I'll leave the link for the proper review of Umbra in the description box below if you want to check that or not. Um, anyway, let's go get it. Oh, okay, so it looks like I've got the whole crew together. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned before, but I did send Genesa home. I thought it was just kind of a little bit too much, really. Um, now, you can do this with just uh, the, the one follower if you don't have access to Inigo or Lucian. Um, I'm actually thinking about dropping Inigo for a while because it's a little bit too powerful. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but anyway... The reason I would suggest if you do have one follower, and you will need a follower for this if you're coming at a very low level, because this boss fight is particularly brutal. Um, I would recommend Jensen, not only because she uh, dual wields and, and uses a bow quite effectively, but if you give her one of your Atrax staffs, she will on occasion use it properly. She's quite good. Um, and of course, we've now got uh, Goth there. Um, so you could potentially have three Atronachs fighting on your side and you really will need them uh, yeah to get through this boss fight, boss fight yeah you, you'll definitely need them actually this is one of the uh, uh, the mods really where the quest is actually better than the gear you get it is for me because I never use two-handed weapons and Umbra in this variation, this mod is two-handed. I'm, I'm sure in the original game it was a, a single-handed sword, but um, yeah, go on, guys. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how long we'll be able to keep doing these videos for, guys, because uh, my old computer's really starting to fail now. I'm, I'm struggling. I've even using a lightweight editor on it. Oh, no, bugger off walls. Seriously? Oh. I can't get used to fighting on horseback. I am absolute crap at this. Let the boys do it. Yeah, yeah, the old computer's really starting to pack up now. It's, uh, my editors are struggling and, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get through this series anyway. Okay, I can't remember how to get there. Do a little bit of mountain climbing, though. No. Just have to go the long way around. Actually, at the end of this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little video uh, telling up the amount of hours I've got playing through all these Creation Club mods and how much they would have cost me at full price, that is, of course. Um, and I'll probably demo maybe the first five or six or whatever uh, Creation Club mods that I would actually buy if I wasn't to this kind of re review thing. Because um, there are some of them are very, very good, and I'm starting to appreciate some of the smaller mods actually more than I than I did when I first did a review on them. Things like the Bone Wolf and the Staff of Hazadoki, um, really, actually, really kind of useful mods. Gotta practice that horse combat though. I'm so crap at it. Oh, mushrooms, nom nom. Be quite honestly, I wasn't gonna be doing uh gathering any resources on this playthrough. I just can't help myself. 
It's kind of ingrained to me now. I think this, yeah, this is the first time I've going to come up against Drogo with this character. Be interesting to see. Uh, How she does. Mr. Dragonfly says that. Oh, Skiva Tell. An impressive kill. Mr. Dragonfly says that was an impressive kill. Thank you, Nico. Okay. <sighs> that was totally not worth it. Yeah, Lucian uses the staff quite well. I gave him an Atronach uh, staff, and yeah, he uses it quite well. And as I said before, you can do this solo, but it'll be very difficult. You will die a lot, uh, a lot. Which can be fun sometimes, yeah, let's be honest. Okay, uh, I can remember how to do this. Um, oh, nasty druggers, I can hear them. I am here for you. Okay, I'm sure there are traps in there, so wait here. What can I do for you? All right, but please don't be long. This place is scary. <laughs> There's the one major fault of having followers are they do set off traps. Okay, got a quick save. Just in case. Every penny counts. Thank you. 
be. It's over here. This is why I left the followers up here. Uh, not so much for uh, their sake in this instance because they're all essential, but um, yeah, they can block you off in the uh, as you're trying to get out and kill you. Ah, crap. Oh, miss. What you got? Nothing. Actually, you know, if you've uh, you got people who carry this up, it's actually worth gathering all this stuff. So when it comes to your enchanting, you can uh, yeah use them for increasing your enchanting skills or level up enchanting. Sorry. Bloody rubbish. comes round two.
See I mean how handy the staff is. It's really handy. Well, he's got something decent. Oh yeah, come with lots of healing as well, and hot key your healing. Oh shit, I told them to wait for me, didn't I? What is on your mind? Yes, let us go. Something on your mind? I'll be right behind you. Let's get moving. Do you know where you are going, my friend? Not got a clue. Yeah, I'm collecting this stuff now because I remember rightly you go, you leave in a different way. So, I'm going to come back here again. <laughs> sure there's another chest around here somewhere. Oh, that wasn't worth it, was it? Okay. those traps. I'll just let the boys deal with that. Far more important things to do.
Okay, I think we're coming up to the arena. Okay, right, I think uh, where's the going? Okay, if I remember rightly, um, he's only vulnerable when he's cast or summons his little helper. is just chaos. Alright, uh, okay. Come on guys, get into him. Any cast those in my area of effect spells. He does a paralysis one as well if I remember rightly and I wouldn't really want to avoid that. Down, damn it. Okay. Damn it, I was too slow in there. Just fanning around. Oh. Paralysis then. Okay, oh, is he down? He's down, that's it. We've done it. That was a bitch. That was an absolute bitch. Anyway, so you get yourself some ebony armor as well, and of course you get Umbra. Which, uh, you know, I'm not a two-handed sword person, but, uh, you know, that's kind of cool. Assist. Just oh, dump some stuff down. on him. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, oh, do you know what? That's kind of a relief. That's um, that's that's a hard fight. Oh, madness hall. This place is fascinating. Something ancient in order to 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. This Lucian fellow, my friend. He may look a little flimsy, but I think he is stronger than he knows. What are we trading? Back to business, I suppose. Okay. Let's find our way out of here. Um. Bit of law in that book, I think. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah, like I say, you know, this is actually one of the few where the quest is probably better than the uh, the gear you get. So yeah, I enjoyed that. That's um, that's quite a hard fight, I think. I think probably one of the hardest in. Uh, all right, I can see where we are. Yeah. I think probably probably one of the hardest out of all the Creation Club mod ones. Okay, so we've got Umbra. Um, let's just take a, a quick peek at it. Oh, get some more mushies first. Nom nom. So yeah, it's a really lovely looking weapon in my opinion. Actually very subtly done. I really like the looks of this. Uh, it's got pretty much the same stats as a Daedric Greatsword and it's uniquely triple enchanted with Soul Trap, um, I think someone dies within 20 seconds, um, Absorb Health 25 points and Absorb Stamina for 25 points. So it's, it's actually a very effective weapon. I mean all in all it is really a, a great sword if you play with a two-handed weapon that is. For me personally it would have been better if they could have worked it into giving you a choice between a one-handed or a two-handed weapon because the sword itself isn't suitable for quite a large portion of player base who play with one-handed weapons. Um, anyway, that said, the boss fight was great. And even if the uh, sword ends up on a plaque summer, yeah, yeah, I loved it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you next one. Don't forget, I love you.